A new physical therapy option is available now here on Fort Drum, thanks to one Watertown citizen. A ribbon-cutting ceremony was held today marking the opening of a new state-of-the-art physical therapy pool. The ceremony was held at the Connor Troop Medical Clinic complex on Fort Drum. Sheila Barney Polis led the therapy pool donation project, holding many fundraising events throughout the North Country. She understood the need for the physical therapy pool, she explained at the ceremony, because her father suffered a head injury in World War II. Uh, my dad was 100% uh, disabled from World War II, and I know that he enjoyed occasionally going into the water. Um, he was not a swimmer, but he enjoyed being in the water periodically, and I thought, well, it seemed to help him with his headaches. Um, so I thought, well, Fort Drum has two large pools, but they don't have the individual pool. And so I called Brian at Sundance Pools and said, is this something that you would be willing to do? And then I talked to a therapist up here, and they were all for it. So that's where it started out. Well, first of all, it's just amazing what Sheila's done, you know, to have a vision and just get people together and just, you know, make this happen. Without her, we wouldn't have this at all. So it's totally given us another option that we wouldn't have, you know. And so for us, it's just it's another treatment modality. So if we have appropriate patients, we can offer them this service because of Sheila's vision and the North Country support. The therapy pool will allow for low-impact physical therapy, just another means of helping those 10th Mountain Division soldiers in their recovery. It's resistance. It just provides resistance for the muscles and just makes the environment a little bit more challenging. The water in the pool is warmer than traditional pools, which will help the muscles relax for those in need of physical therapy. I mean, it's quite different from just getting on your average treadmill and trying to walk, doing lifting weights or anything. It's a much more funner experience and you get a way better workout. It defeats the in initial part. It's more like a mind thing. It's like, would you rather jump in a pool and have fun or go to the gym? So it's, it's, it gives you a better option. It's for all types of soldiers. Um, it isn't just somebody who has a physical injury. It might be somebody who has post-traumatic stress disorder or a TBI that's come home from Walter Reed and is still going to be active duty. You know, there's still going to be a position for them. If they have epilepsy, they're not going to lose their job. They're definitely not going to lose their job. There's still going to be a position for them in the military if they're active duty. The project fundraising began in September of 2009 after the Department of Army, Northern Regional Medical Command, and the U.S. Army Medical Command approved the $90,000 pool project. This has been Holly Bonet on Fort Drum with the new physical therapy pool for myabc50.com.